Welcome back everybody to another video. It's me again, Papa Jays, back in another video. Now we are going to talk about World War One, WW1. It is the beginning of the Second World War. It is the beginning of the Cold War. It is the beginning of communism in general. You're probably wondering how this global galactic war had begun. Well, it starts in 1871, where Germany defeats France to be the newly united German state. And now since France have lost some valuable territory, which France later wanted, Germany focused on allying to Australia-Hungary. After that, the next heir of Austria-Hungary was shot by a Serbian assassin, which caused the war between them. Austria-Hungary sent out Serbia some unequal treaties, but Serbia refused it. Serbia, which was allied to Russia, who was allied to France, and Austria-Hungary is allied to Germany. And France has which is allied to the UK, UK fearing the influence of German Navy. In this point of view, we have a huge thing. But in 1870s, Italy, Austria-Hungary and Germany signed the Pact of Steel and joined it together into an alliance. This alliance only stands for some time at all. After the Serbia and Austria-Hungary came to war, Russia was bleak and clumsy. So the Axis, the central powers to control that tactic, of first invading France, knock out the UK in the process, invade Russia. In the invasion of France, France had defended its border along the German line, but not extended it all the way to Belgium and Luxembourg. So Germany invaded Belgium and Luxembourg to go to France. And the UK, who was depressed of the Germans invading neutral countries, declared war and sent out. The war was furious. They have already warned Belgium about this, but Belgium never agreed. The German forcing troops thought the Belgians are going to do nothing and just going to stay there. But no, the Belgians fought back. Back with guns. While this was happening, Russia came back. The Germans were confused why the Austrians haven't taken any charge in the eastern front of the battlefield. At all, the battle was still going. Austrian troops were pushed back by the Russians, while German troops pushing back the Russians. Later, the Russians were stopped by hilly mountainous regions, which caused them to stop and to retreat. Later, this you are probably wondering what happened to Serbia and Austria-Hungary in their part of the war. Well. They did nothing. They were just staying there. While this was happening, Japan, who took Germany's colonies and islands from it, and the America starts to get involved. America started to aid the Allies since it doesn't want to enter the war, but it does want it to interfere with the war. America had been sending supplies to the Allies. And people from British Raj have been sending to fight the Germans with them. It was the bloody battle of 8 million lives. Right after this, the Germans later sent out Lenin to Russia, putting a communist revolution in the first revolution, overthrowing Tsar, 
and then in the second revolution, pulling Russia out of the war. With the Eastern Front done, they must focus in the Western Front. In the Western Front, France, UK were fighting in series. The Germans were pushing so hard all the way to Paris. So the capital needed to be changed. While this was happening, Italy joined the war in the Allies side, betraying the alliance they had in the 1870s, crushing it in the process. Now the war is in a complete stalemate. They can't go because of trenches. And this is a cruel battle. Gases were used, which caused so many lives to die. It is still a mystery how all of the people who survived the First World War was able to stand this. Even children who is 12 years old came into the entire battle. How did they came in? Well, up the 19th century, there wasn't that many birth cards there. So they can just lie about the age anytime they want. They thought they can be destined heroes, but what they saw was blood, the shadows of dead corpses, rats and poisonous gases and artery shells falling out of them. It is a war which no one had ever seen. Later that, the German troops marched with a huge amount. The first British tanks were created and they were going in mass rampages. Everything was getting destroyed fast. They were destroying the Germans. While this was happening, Germany, who doesn't want the Americans to help the, you know, allies, so they sent in a telegraphic message to Mexico saying that it will help them to take back the land from America but for a condition to counterattack America to stop the supply line so America wouldn't send the goods to the European powers so the war wouldn't take place on it. This message was later found by British Telegraphics and they have sent it to directly to America. The United States of America is a war. The United States of America has a bigger economy and the biggest military strength than Germany. Germany knows this. So the main plan is to quickly take out France, knock out the UK, and help Mexico destroy America. This was a brutal war. While this was happening, Bulgaria joined with the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire was fighting in three sides. When Bulgaria joined, Bulgaria and Austria-Hungary managed to take down Serbia. You probably wonder, if the mainland is destroyed, then why the war is still going on? The war was taking also place in the African continents. The German colonies were attacked. In this position, Austria-Hungary finally gave up with Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire, who was later reformed by the European powers, later did Germany. Plus, the Allies have been stopping iron supply to them. And finally, the First World War came to an end. Germany lost a huge amount of land. This is a humiliation. There was Belgium... France, even Denmark taking parts. The beautiful country of Austria-Hungary was separated. Turkey was created. Bulgaria was turned into many other countries. Romania even got into the war but got quickly destroyed by advancing German troops. There was a huge country named Poland splitting Germany in two. That is the Polish corridor. Germany wanted to pay a huge amounts of money that it didn't have for the war reparations. The war had clearly demilitarized anybody, and we can't say anybody is the villain. As in each other as, she, as in each other's perspective, there's different things. 
For the Germans' perspective, it seems they are the good guys. But in the American or British perspective, they are the bad guys. Clearly, if it wasn't happened without the Serbian government involving, the World War wouldn't happen. But this war had been told to cause the next one. World War II. To come back to take out the world with another war. Thank you for watching this video. Signing out is Jace. Hurrah!